Hi, welcome back to another video. In a previous video, we saw how to derive the formula for calculating the future value of an amount of money uh, using uh, the compounding formula, which is written here. And we, we took the initial amount called present value, we multiply that by one plus the uh, compounding uh, rate per period and raised it to the total number of periods. So in this video, we want to see how to implement this formula in a straightforward way on a calculator, the TI-83. So the problem we want to deal with is the following. Uh, we have $1,000 that we have in a savings account that pays 6% a year, compounded monthly. Uh, we're not making any additional payments into the account. We just want to see what the value will be after one year, two years, and maybe vary the parameters a bit. Okay, so how do we set this up? Well, uh, the first thing we want to do is we're going to multiply the present value, the amount in the account, 1,000 times what? Well, we have to be careful and put parentheses in here. So one plus, now you wouldn't have to put the parentheses in if you knew how to calculate the uh, monthly rate in this case, but it's pretty easy in this case, but uh, you, generally you're not gonna be able to do it in your head. So if the annual rate is 6%, how do we find the monthly rate? Well, we divide that by 12 because there are 12 months in a year. Okay, so our uh, monthly rate will be uh, a half a percent and we would then want to raise that to what? Well, how many periods are there in a year? Well, there'd be 12, so we'll go to the 12. And just hit enter, and that's it. So we started with $1,000, we got $61.68 interest. Now, how do we find the value if we wanted to do two years here? Well, the monthly rate is still going to be a half percent each month, so we could leave this alone. We can actually just edit this formula. Remember to edit, it's the second enter. Uh, and we can say, well, in two years, is going to be 24 months. All I have to do is change the 12 to 24. Remember, I just changed this 12 to 24. I don't touch this one because the monthly rate is still going to be 0.06 over 12. All right, so what does that give us? Well, that gives us 11.27. So, it's a, we get a little more than double the amount because, of course, we're gaining interest on each uh, additional interest that was placed into the account. Now, you have to be a little careful here with that exponent. You, if you uh, try to just say, well, I'm going to double 12, uh, you want to uh, make sure you put in parentheses. So let's go back and say, do that. If I... Uh, don't put in the parentheses, so that's a good exercise. Supposing I just take 12 and multiply that by 2. Well, then what happens when I hit enter? Well, now notice that shorts me about $4 there. But it, this 2123 is just double the 1061. Well, what happened? Well, what happened is you've got to remember the order of operations. Uh, it took this expression to the 12th power, that's exactly what we did originally for one year, and then doubled that answer. So to do this correctly, we would have had to go back and put in the parentheses there in the, uh, the exponent. You'll see what happens if I put in parentheses. 12 times 2 with the parentheses. And there's the 1127. Now, what if we want to modify this additional here? I suggested finding the value of the account if it's compounded daily. Well, now that's going to be a little more complicated. And so let's do it daily for two years to see what the net effect is. Well, we can start out with $1,000. That's our, our present value, what the account starts with. We want to multiply that by what? One plus, now it's 6% a year, but now we're doing the compounding daily. So I have to divide by... 365. Okay, so that's going to give us, and that number is a little small. I'm not going to try to calculate that in my head. Uh, I raise this to, if we're going to do it for two years, remember I put in the parentheses 365 times 2, so I don't have to calculate it out in advance in my head, and hit enter, and what do we come out with? We actually came out with about uh, 30 cents more. So the, the net effect of this, uh, one of the conclusions you can draw, is the fact that 
um, if you shorten the compounding period for just a small amount of money, and you're only going to pick, pick up a few pennies more. Uh, well, uh, this is just an illustration of how we use the basic formula in a calculator. Uh, in a future video, what we'll do is to look at the TVM solver and see how to use that to calculate the value of future value of a compounding problem. Thanks for watching.